Greetings and thanks for joining me back on tour. Today we're going to be exploring the Italian Alps and one of the toughest and most beautiful climbs you may never have even heard of. Seldom used in pro cycling, this is definitely one of Northern Italy's best kept secrets and one for those that love to go deep into the unknown. Today we're kicking things off in the sleepy hamlet of Prad Levers as we climb to just shy of 2,500 meters on our way to taming the wicked and wild Colefoniera. So here we go, ready for the big adventure. We've just departed Prad Levers and passed a little stats board there as well. Always good. It's 21.9 kilometers at an average of 7.6%. And they reckon it tops out at 14. So we'll see about that. At the moment though, we're on a nice 3% easy valley section. I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. Let's go find out. So it looks like we've had about 5k to enjoy this valley and the sound of this fast flowing torrent beside us before the gradient pitches up just a little bit up to about six and seven percent so still not too taxing i'm just going to make the most of it because i've got a feeling it's going to get a bit nasty more like it just under 15 kilometers to go and the gradients well into double figures it reckons pitches up to 14 percent for about half a k but if i'm honest i haven't seen it more than about an 11 or 12 so i think they might be just a little bit over ambitious a tough section the last four or five k's rarely dropping below about nine percent but pitches up to 14. in fact just gone past a sign that reckons it's going to ramp up to 15 percent so definitely getting into the thicker things
1,800 meters elevation, eight kilometers to go. The road's narrowed as we pass that beautiful sanctuary Castle Magno, right out in the open now, no shelter. And for the first time, we've actually got a moment of respite. Gradients almost flat. So I'm gonna make the most of that before we get stuck into this last section of the climb. Just under six k's to go. The road's snaking below us and in front of us. Just approaching 2,000 meters as well. So the air's starting to get thin. I made the most of that easier section and it's just as well because the road quickly pitches up to nine and 10% again. And it holds that form all the way to the top. I've done the maths, six k's to go and about 500 meters elevation to gain means around 9% average. into the last three Ks and there really is very little respite. You can see the road below us snaking away. So narrow, almost feels like it's swallowing us up. We just got to keep the persistence, keep on pushing on the pedals and hope for the best. We're at 2,350 meters. So we've got just over 100 meters elevation to climb. But a junction here for the Colle de Zichy, that's the northern ascent of Boniera. We look behind me, right over my shoulder. That's where we've climbed. Absolutely sensational. See the road in the distance. I'm gonna take a moment just to appreciate before we hit the last K and a half. This is it. Oh, this is glorious. You may be able to hear the wind buffering us. It's pretty strong now. Just over 2,400 meters. 12% gradient, it really is not letting up. We've only got a few hundred meters now, so nothing's gonna stop us. We made it 2,481 meters. And as we crested the summit and the sun starts to set, we're met with this stone statue of the climbing legend, Marco Pantani, who was first over the summit in the 99 Giro. Quite the way to finish the day. 
It's a wicked and wild climb. The road is raspy like a cow's tongue and that's exactly why we love it so much. The marmots are, are squeaking in the distance. We got a 21k descent. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. Just leave you with a few views of this absolutely superb climb. Until the next time, thanks for joining me. Peace out.